Hey, what's up, Marianne? It's your buddy Carl at Fiddler Shop. I hope you're having such an awesome week. Glad you're enjoying your other master level violin from us. And obviously I'm here today to play three violins for you per your request. I have two different um, Bench David model violins, and then we also threw in a Canone model as well, so you'll be able to hear the differences. I like all three violins. Uh, I think the first one that I'm gonna play, the first of the David violins is perhaps my favorite. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold up all three for you, I'm gonna play through them, and then we can talk a little bit about what they sound like, okay? So here is the first David model. Beautiful antique finish on this. Great work on the scroll and pegs. Gorgeous flamed maple back. And this has a really nice tone to it. I wouldn't call it um, excessively bright or excessively mellow. I will say it's got a lot of projection and it sounds just absolutely beautiful under the ear. Let's start with a little scale. <laughs> even sound around all four strings and really under the ear this sounds amazing Really nice overtones as well. It has a very, very lush sound, I would call it. But definitely a lot of projection as well, so it's great for a soloist. I hope you get to hear that as well as I uh, got to hear it under my ear. So, hold for number two. And I'm back with number two, the second of the Bench Strad uh, Holstein. And I'm gonna hold this one up for you. Now this one actually looks like an older violin. The, uh, the varnish job in the antiquing makes it actually look like it's been used for a while. I don't know if you can see that. You should be able to. But it's got a really nice old violin look to it. And really nice, of course, work on the scroll and the flamed maple back. So this has a similar sound to it, I would say. Really nice under the ear as well. under the ear. I wouldn't call it quite as big a projection as the first one, but it's still really, really nice. Super, super rich, super nice. And hold for number three. 
And hey again, Marianne, we're back with number three, the Premium Bench Canone. Really beautiful antique finish on this. Beautiful maple back. And this has a very uh, big projection as well. I would say that this is on the brighter side, but not exceedingly bright to the point of it being tinny. violin as well. <clears throat> Great overtones and really nice under the ear. Hope you have a great rest of your week. I wish you the best of luck on this decision. I really prefer number one to the other two, but of course it's so subjective. Just my recommendation. Hope you have an awesome week and best of luck on your violin journey. Thanks. Thanks.